GE, Aetna, it seems like business after business has been leaving Connecticut lately, but one company that started here and has grown here is expanding again tonight. News 8's Bob Wilson live with what that expansion means for our state. Bob. Carla's Pasta, it's an amazing company. We got to go up and look at it firsthand. They're expanding. They started out in the 1970s as a tiny little company. In the last 15 years, they've had three major projects where they've just grown in the face of a trend where everyone's leaving the state. Making pasta is not making widget. Once you hear the accent, you know Carla is the real deal. Straight from Italy, making one million pounds of pasta a week from family recipes. You have to have people that know exactly how to treat the product. Uh, that I mean the fillings and the pasta. The workforce is the main reason Carla's Pasta is committed to Connecticut and doubling down. Tonight they broke ground on a massive expansion project in South Windsor when many other companies are leaving the state. So having a manufacturing facility in Connecticut is fairly rare. One that's growing is even more rare. And the types of job that we're building are really beyond hourly. We're going to have management, we're going to have directors. Just to give you an idea of the expansion that they're doing here in South Windsor, this is 70,000 plus square feet. It's the size of a Home Depot or a Walmart. This is how committed they are to Connecticut. And it's not just the size, it's also the technology they're adding. It is a world class food safety manufacturing type facility. It is going to have things built into it that literally are world level. So, just how big of a deal is it? Representatives Larson and Courtney attended the groundbreaking along with a South Windsor mayor who has high hopes for Carla. We are so proud. This is going to be the largest uh, uh, pasta company for in, in the country. Just to give you an idea of how fast Carlos Pasta is growing, they say once this uh, expansion is up and running, it's going to be about four years before they outgrow it and have to build another building. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in the Hartford Newsroom, News 8. That's good news, Bob. Thanks. Well, if